And here. <laughs> There's a gal who wrote a book called Sunny named Sandy Fetty. Right. She I have some questions self, about that. She yeah. calls herself an investigative reporter. Mm -hmm. Well, she don't investigate nothing. She says, Sonny was trying to poison me. Now, does that make any sense at all? That's the first time I ever meet him. He doesn't know who the hell I am. Right. Why is he going to try to poison me? Okay. So it makes no sense. But, you know, Sonny, everything Sonny told her was bullshit. But she don't realize that. So she writes what she writes, but anyway. And, you know, she said, I never knew Sonny. Sonny didn't like me. Yeah, he didn't like me. That's why we were talking right up to this day. That, that's why right. we were in prison together, okay? That's why we got indicted. And I hate mentioning her name because I'm giving her credit as I, when I give her name. But if you look at the back of my book, which you have there, you will read... A blur by John Connolly. All right. He was author, New York, New York Times best selling true crime book, Filthy Rich. I introduced John to Sonny in New York back in 2006. Okay. Because Sonny would talk like he's going to do his story. But he would never tell nobody the truth. Mm -hmm. Upon our release in prison, John called me and said Sonny was calling him and wanted to meet with him. He went and met with Sonny at the nursing home. He said, all right, I can't write nothing. He's not going to tell me the truth. John was astute enough to know that. Mm -hmm. But this girl, Sandy, wasn't. And even John Franchese said, Sonny treated reporters the same way he treated police, cops. He's not going to talk to them and tell them the truth. But this is Sonny. And I were talking three times a week. He was laughing. He said, that great porter was here. He says, I go to this, I go to that. But, you know, she ended up writing a book, like all these so-called mob historians do. They go to Google, they go to court documents, they go to old newspapers, and now they become a mob historian. Right. I can say things when I talk, I can say I was in the room. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference. I've seen a few uh, interviews with her recently, and, uh, you know, she did spend some time with, with Sonny. Was you surprised that he actually spoke? To her at all? I mean, that she he even sat down with her? No. You gotta remember, he's a hundred and something years old. He's in a nursing home. Right. He gets company, he wants company. Sonny was a talk, he was a very smart guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. He enjoyed having company. He didn't give a shit who at that age, would you put yourself at that age? Okay. Oh, you're right. Yeah. But did he tell her the truth? No. Actually, the entire family is very upset with her. I'm the only one who come out with it. But I talk with the rest of the family, mm -hmm. the children. Yeah, I think I think I saw where uh, Michael was not happy with with that book either. No, uh, she went on Lee Cole show. Mm -hmm. that, you know, they think she's the gift from God. Right. Lee Cold and that guy that where's the hat that he's got? I can't remember his name. Another James, mob historian who don't know shit. Okay? Right. Mistaking me for somebody else <laughs> on a bankruptcy. Okay? <laughs> right, get the get your facts right if you're gonna do something. You know, I'm not after anybody. Let everybody go make a million dollars on YouTube. I make money other ways. Right. Okay. I don't need you two to make me money. Yeah, I'd like to make a few bucks from it, yeah. By the time my YouTube station becomes anything, I'll be dead. So, <laughs> so I want to give people quality <laughs> stuff that's going to help them make their life better. Right. That's what I'm out after.
Okay.